Hi, I'm Mark with Pro Acoustics. This is Tech Talk, and today we're going to be talking about PTZ cameras. Live streaming cameras can provide an easy to use system to allow you to record video and audio for worship services, sports events, conferences, any kind of event where you might need to put that content online for other people to see. A PTZ camera and a kit similar to what I've got in front of me might be, what, might be what you need to use. Some of you might be asking, what is a PTZ camera? Well, let's break down the name just for a second. PT and Z stands for pan, tilt, and zoom. PTZ optics camera that I have right here in front of me, as you can see, can pan, scroll across sideways. It can tilt up and down. Usually it's limited by a certain degree. And then inside of the camera here, once you take this cap off, it's able to zoom in, sometimes up to 50 feet without any kind of issues. What makes these stand apart from your typical webcam is one, the features, two, the quality. These are 100% HD quality out the box. Uh, no question about whether or not your image is gonna be crisp and clear. These cameras will do that for you. Setting them up is fairly easy. Uh, they come with their own software. You can even integrate them with a video software of your own if you have it. A lot of these cameras and their software allow you to take certain presets and save them for later. So if you're doing a podcast or a webcast every week and you're using the same kind of setup, you don't have to go in and readjust your settings time after time. You can just go in, select your presets, make sure that everything's still in place from last time, click start, and you're usually ready to go at that point. Another advantage to a PTZ optics camera versus a standard webcam is because it has those adjustments, you don't have to worry about making adjustments or placing another camera somewhere to get the right shot. Sometimes you can get multiple shots from a single camera and a single user can go in there and make those adjustments themselves. You can either use a keyboard like what I've got here in front of me. They will have a lot of times quick commands assigned to keys or you can use a controller like the Huddle Cam HD, which is over here to my left. This will allow you to make certain changes to the direction that the camera is facing, either moving it up or down, left or right, and then you can also make rotational adjustments to pan as well. Another advantage to PTC cameras is that you don't have to have a separate cameraman. It used to be whenever you were looking for a broadcast of say a church service, you would see a cameraman with a big over the shoulder kit walking around, you usually have a boom mic, somebody carrying the, the small portable mixer with them, and that's gone. You don't have to worry about that anymore. Now you can route all of your audio into an audio interface, so you don't need the boom mic. You've already got mics that the pastor's using or that the presenter's using. And then these cameras can be strategically placed throughout the room. You can have your presets loaded into your computer, or you can have somebody manning the controller to make the adjustments on the fly. So whenever you get one of these camera kits, the PTZ Optics Kit is obviously going to come with one, two, or three of their cameras. And these will have anywhere from a 10 times zoom up to a 30 times zoom. And on the back of these cameras, you will find multiple connections. Some of them have LAN connections. This is not PoE. For that, you would need a separate adapter. But HDMI, USB, they got 2.0. Some of them have got USB 3.0. And then you've got your old um, RS-232 connections, which you don't see on many computers today, but if you're using an older system, you might find that helpful. And they've also got the 3G SDI connection as well. Some other things that you're going to find inside this kit is a remote. You can control this camera with the remote. It has a bunch of presets already on the buttons here, like a zoom, a slow, speed it up. Um, you can set presets to the number keys. Um, you can also select which camera you're using. So if you have up to four cameras, you can select which camera you're controlling with the press of a button. This kit also comes with a small audio interface. This is the Shure uh, MVI XLR quarter inch. And the reason they call it the XLR quarter inch is it comes with a nice combo jack there. You route your audio signal from your existing audio mix into this. You send the signal over USB to your computer and then your hooking up your audio right into your video broadcasting software. If you have the SDI connection, this is a very helpful tool. This is your Magwell USB capture SDI. It will take your SDI signal from your camera and then transfer that into a USB signal that can be easily sent to your computer. Another piece that you're gonna find inside the kit is this USB um, hub. 
This allows for seven USB devices, all to be routed out through one USB port. Finally, what we're gonna find probably most useful in this kit is this controller. This is the HuddleCam HD. This allows you to connect to your camera and control it via this RS-232 serial connection. Whenever you plug this into your camera, you're gonna get a few different presets. Right here on the, you've got your different cameras that you can select at a push of a button. You can adjust your speed. You can go back and you can do your different operating recalls. Um, these buttons each can be programmed to a different setting or to a different shot on the, the camera itself. So if you press one, maybe that's a zoom in on the presenter. Two would be like a wide angle. Uh, three, you could set it to pan from left to right. So whatever you program in there, you can set up with these different buttons. The camera that I have right here in front of me is actually the PTZ Optics 20 times SDI. Um, it's a 1080p camera with 20 times optical zoom. Um, it does HD images. It's great for long distances, um, but it can get up close if you need it to. Uh, it's got the SDI connection, like I mentioned earlier, with HDMI. It can also go over IP streaming. If you've got a network adapter, you can route all of the signal via an Ethernet cable and back to your computer. Um, it's got 60.7 degrees wide angle lens. Um, it works well in both a well-lit area and low light. It'll make adjustments via the software that's included. Um, it does a 2D and 3D noise reduction. It is capable of doing PoE, but you need to have the PoE adapter, so just keep that in mind for all of you network guys. Um, and it is photo booth capable, so you can set it up as a photo booth. So once you get all this equipment out and you start routing your USB connections, a lot of you are going to ask, well, how do I get it to work? Uh, there's an included software for controlling the PTZ Optics camera, uh, but you'll also likely want to get yourself a broadcasting software. You can use something like Adobe Premiere or uh, Final Cut, uh, but if you don't have the money for one of those programs, I usually just recommend going and taking a look at uh, OBS, which is Online Broadcast System, and it's a free software. It's very easy to use. Everything's on the web page. Um, you can set up multiple scenes and shots right there from the, from the software itself. You won't be able to control the camera in the software, so you'll need to have the camera control software running at the same time, so make sure your computer can handle that. But it does make it extremely easy to upload the finished product onto a web page, such as YouTube or Facebook, or if you've got a blog page. Some different ways that you might consider mounting this camera. Obviously, you can place it on a desk just like I have it here. They do have kits for wall mounting, for ceiling mounting. Um, you can also hang it under a balcony. You can hang it from a truss. Uh, really, anywhere that you're going to get the shot that you want, we've probably got a mounting system that will work well with this camera and ensure that you can get that shot time after time. Finally, these cameras come in a variety of different quality settings. You have your SD, which is a standard definition. You have your HD, which has 1920 pixels across. And then you have your 4K, which has 4,000 pixels all the way across. Um, it really depends on what you're shooting. Is video quality the most important thing to you? Then you might want a 4K camera. If you just need to get the image out there and it's more important that they're able to hear and make a relation to who's speaking, an HD or an SD camera setting might work for you. Okay, so that's all that I have on PTZ cameras and this PTZ optics setup today. I'm Mark with Pro Acoustics. If you have any questions, go ahead and stop by the website, proacoustics.com. Me or one of the other engineers can help you out. Uh, this has been Tech Talk. Have a great day.